freaked out as soon as I heard it on the news. We live clear over on the east side and I flew over here as fast as I could. Terrified parents like Angela Whited hug their children in tearful reunions after the lockdown was over at Merrill Middle School. I was hoping that it wouldn't happen like other schools and everybody would get hurt, but everybody I guess is fine. It all started around 2 p.m. As students and parents were getting ready for a school Halloween party, a student's mother and father started arguing. Came in the door, uh, wanted her to leave with him. Um, when she declined, he made some comment about possibly having a gun, possibly shooting people inside the building. The school went on immediate lockdown, and the suspect, 35-year-old Ryan Collier, fled the building on foot. Our number one priority was the safety of the kids, and that's what we did. And, and our team, I'm so proud of our team, they did exactly what uh, we asked them to do. Inside, the students gathered on the floor in classrooms and the cafeteria. I was just scared. As parents waited outside, confused and desperate for answers. I didn't know what was going on, and then all of a sudden the cop came around and with his guns drawn, and I thought, oh gosh, this is serious. As the manhunt for the suspect got further away from the school, officials decided to end the lockdown. We ask that you don't come up to the door, but that we are going to usher them out. Not even an hour after the lockdown was lifted, officials put the school on lockdown for a second time since the suspect was still on the loose. We have protocol that we have to follow. And I think for the most part, we did what we needed to do. No students or staff were physically hurt, but it was certainly a day that left kids emotionally drained and worried. Why would a person come here with a gun? Like, we're kids. We can't, we can't really defend ourselves or do anything about it. One thing parents will do is hug their kids a little tighter tonight. It scared me to death. I just never thought it would happen here.